That's God's best for our lives. Can you say amen? amen? So notice here, from faith to faith, say it with me, from faith to faith, from faith, to faith. and from glory to glory. Glory, glory. Say it again, from faith to faith, from faith, to faith. and from glory to glory. Now, I want to read a couple of things I put in my notes because I don't want to overlook them because they are very important. Hallelujah. One meaning of this phrase, from faith to faith, is progressively growing faith. Progressively growing faith. Another meaning is from one degree of faith to another. Now, stop and think about it right now. Look back on your life when you became a believer and you know the Bible says that, that God imparted into you the measure of faith when you received Christ when you were born again. Okay? Now, if you look back from that moment when you received Christ, for me it was 1969. If you look back at the moment that you received Christ, can you say that your faith has grown from that moment? Yes. Or would you look back and say, dear Lord, I'm still at the same level I was when I got saved and faith was first imparted into my life. That is, that is not God's best. In fact, that's under the curse. <laughs> and you're redeemed from the curse, amen? amen? To stay as you are is a curse. Amen. I heard, I, I saw in a book and, uh, and I witnessed it myself the first time I went to Africa, but it was just another, another man telling the story of his experience. And he said, when he first went to Africa, he, he, he discovered all these different tribes. And of course there are stronger tribes and weaker tribes. And of course, the weaker tribe would like to cut covenant with a stronger guy, tribe for protection, okay? And so, and I saw that when I first, first started going to Africa in 1978. I, 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 in fact, I asked the Lord, first, first time I set feet on African soil, I said, what do you want me to preach here? He said, covenant. They understand covenant. He said, now, they perverted it, but they understand the principles of covenant. So that's what I preached the first time. Time I've set foot in Africa. And, and I, I noticed the same thing this man had noticed. He said there was a, a, a strong tribe that this weaker tribe wanted to enter into covenant with. And the process is the, the head of that strong tribe and the head of the weaker tribe, they face each other and, and members of the tribe from the weaker tribe and the stronger tribe are behind their leaders and they're all facing each other. And the stronger tribe leader says, if you will keep this covenant, we will do this. Just like Deuteronomy chapter 28. Amen. We will do this. We'll protect you. We'll do this and that and so forth. And the weaker tribe said, and if you will keep covenant, we will do this. Now they did have uh, certain expertise that the stronger tribe didn't have and the stronger tribe needed them. Okay, and so they said, and we'll do this. And then after they pronounced blessings on each other, then they pronounced curses. And the stronger tribe says, if you ever break this covenant, then this is what will happen to you. And the weaker tribe said, if you ever break this covenant, this is what will happen to you. And then the last thing that the stronger tribe said <clears throat> as a curse if you ever break this covenant, may you remain as you are right now. That was the worst thing they could think of. If you break this covenant, may you never advance. May you never progress. May you never move forward. May you remain just like you are. And you can find that in Deuteronomy chapter 28. It's a curse and we've been redeemed from the curse. So once again, if you remain as you are right now, by the end of this year, you, see, you, you, can't, you can't look around and see any progress, any advancement, any promotion, no better than you are right now, better off than you are right now, then you've missed God. Well, I only got a few amens and... It won't be God's fault. He's given you everything. 
His word, his spirit. I mean, what else do you need? 